Let's try out the Sun May Voga two in one straightener curling iron that can be used on a heat friendly wig. I'm really excited about it. It's cordless. I can travel with this from the Netherlands like to Texas. I can put this in my gym bag. I can put it in my purse to take off to the office, put it in my desk drawer, and then always have a great little heating tool. I really like the size of it. I like the quality of it, how it feels, the materials used, and I like that when it closes, it closes together, which means when you have, when it's too far apart and it doesn't quite, and you're picking up thin pieces, the hair will just fall right out of it. And that can be a bit frustrating. I'm sure you agree. So this is cordless. It comes with the USB cable and it came with things like something like this to put your hair up with, a little clip, came with a comb so that you can, you know, um, section it out if you want to. I haven't found I needed it on this, but if just in case for those of you, here are some heat protectors, little uh, for your fingers and thumb and a little carrying bag to put it all in. So let's give it a show. I want to show you the how it works. It has a lock. So if you're throwing it down in your bag or purse, maybe it still has some heat on it or you're laying it down, it's locked. The heating elements are not going to be touched. And then so let's unlock it and turn it on. It has a LCD type of front. So you see the battery life on it and the temperature. And when you press the button, right now it's at 185, it goes up to 205 Celsius, and then at the lowest temperature is 165 Celsius. So when you're using it, like on this Zoe that I have from Inner Beleza, this is a heat-friendly fiber. You're gonna wanna start with the lowest temperature. So some of the tips I would say would be that, use it on a low temperature. Put some heat protectant in, in your in your hair. Um, you want to use that. I do use it on this. Almost every time I take this off, I spray some silicone um, protectant in it uh, to put on it. So use something on it like that. And just be gentle. Don't ever, with a curling iron, get too close down to the wig cap or where it's more delicate. And just be gentle. Don't pull and tug on your hair fibers. But we're going to let this, I have it 165. So let's just see, run this through and just see if I can get a little bit more of a bend in it. Yeah, see how that immediately gave, gave that a bit more height. I would always test this. Always make sure, check your wig. Make sure that it is not a synthetic only because if you use any heat on a synthetic it's going to melt your wig and there's no there's no going back from that. You can't fix it. But this is a great, this is as you know if you see my video on this wig, this is so close to what my bio hair is or what I wish my bio hair really looked like with this kind of volume. Look at that, and look how that just gives it the nicest face frame and curl there. These are gonna be great for your longer fibers that tend to get frizzy because you lean against it. You know, we're sitting on the couch or in a chair or in the car, your long fibers rubbing against the back of your neck, they just get frizzed and really rub together and get can get a bit frizzy. So yeah, this is great on this little wig. It's gonna be great when you're wanting all those little touch-ups. If you're wanting to straighten out the curls, and you want it flatter and straighter. But I really like the fact that I can travel and be on the go and always have a curling tool to give me just that extra something. This is a US base, so just understand that it's not going to last heating wise as long as if it was in a, a, regular, a regular curling iron that's going to stay hot because it's plugged in the whole time. Probably have a about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes on it, but that should be enough time for you to accomplish what you want to do with your wig, what you're wanting to, whether it's straightening it or like what I'm doing, just giving it a bit of curl. Yeah, I really like getting that more stacked look back here. Let's try it on the back. Another tip would be to hold it for longer curl, about 10 to 15 seconds. As you see, I'm just smoothing it through because it is on a wig and I do want to be careful not to hold it in one place too, too long.
And I'll pull out a little bit of my bio hair here at the front at the sideburn areas. Give it a bit of curl. Love using this wig spray. This is a Trestalure wig wax. So after you've done a little bit of curl, another tip is to use some wig wax to hold that style in. And like this, now I've got a fun, edgy little look to Zoe. Guess it's the name there, doesn't it? And it is heat friendly. And guess what works good with a heat friendly wig? It is a two-in-one straightener. This is from Sun May Voga, is what it's called. And it is a USB. I can travel anywhere from the Netherlands to Texas, all across Anywhere I go, I can take this with me, drop it in my purse, my travel bag, gym bag, in your laptop bag, take it to the office with you, take it to school in your backpack, wherever you're going for a quick touch up. It's going to uh, have three temperatures on it. It's got a low setting, medium and high on your wigs. Always start with the low setting and it locks up so you don't have to worry about putting it in your bag and having a problem at touching it, your fingers touching it. It locks here and it, like I said, it has the three settings, the LCD for your battery life, 165, 185, and 205 Celsius. Great little on the go. If your arms get tired over your head, lightweight, no cords to tangle around what side of the head do I put this on? Great little tool. And I'll leave all the details down below of this Sun May Voga and even my little Zoe wig from Inner Beleza. New look with this little tool. Doing my darlings. Bye.